Hello, beautiful souls. Welcome to my channel. I hope you're all having a really wonderful week, and I am so excited to be checking in with you here today at the end of week check-in on this channel. You guys know that I do collective readings and energy updates on Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays here on the channel. So thank you so much for being here with me and for literally being an active co-creator of all of these messages and pieces of information. Okay, so I am starting by shuffling the Energy Oracle Cards deck. And the first card to come out here is Action in the Upright Position. So I'm getting that around the time of this super moon, you may have begun feeling as though things in your life were moving very quickly. Now, this may have been an energy, so something that didn't necessarily have an external trigger, but this also could be literal external things in your life. It might feel like there is just a lot moving or shifting or going on at this time. And that's because energetically, that is exactly what is happening. There is a lot going on at the energetic level. And I am really excited to be channeling a bit more into this. So what is this energy that is happening? What is going on here at the energetic level? So here we have wide open heart chakra energy and also a very raw, vulnerable energy in the solar plexus. So there is a lot of heart chakra energy flowing in the collective at this time. You might feel this yourself in the form of really powerful, intense emotions coming through. However, at the same time, there is also this rawness in the solar plexus, this feeling of vulnerability because of how open the heart space is. And I'm getting that you might feel this as feeling very raw and emotional. You may have had a massive emotional purge or emotional release where you just felt so much coming through emotionally, but also during this time, you may be experiencing some lingering self-doubts. So you may have moments of wondering if you're on the right path or if you're making the right decisions and you might even find yourself seeking validation externally but i feel your guide saying the validation that you need is within yourself you can trust yourself to guide your life you don't need anyone else's permission to know and embody your own truth with the throat chakra card in the upright position. I, I have to say as an aside that I've been really powerfully feeling a divine feminine's energy specifically. Now, this might just be for a specific person, but this is a divine feminine who is a very old soul and throughout this life you have always struggled to be seen and struggled to be fully understood by the people around you and i know it sounds strange to say but the reason that it's been difficult for other people to see you is because even if in terms of physical earth age there have been others you've interacted with who have been older than you. On a soul level, many of them have actually been much younger than you. And so 
the advice or guidance of other people, even people who seemed more experienced or older than you has always just not fully clicked with you on a deeper level, especially from a really young age. And the reason for this, again, is because you actually have such depths of ancient wisdom within your soul. And I'm hearing it's almost like a cosmic joke with your guides that at times, because of the veil of amnesia, when you incarnate here on planet Earth, you at times allow yourself to momentarily forget how wise you are or how ancient you are or how powerful you are. And a massive lesson coming through for you on the supermoon is to no longer displace your power, to no longer give that power away to anyone else's idea or opinion or guidance, but to really tap into your own true inner power and nature. So the energy of truth in general is coming up very strongly here. Can I get more information on this energy of truth coming through here? There may be something that you've let go, and this could be a person, a relationship. This also may be someone that you've simply set boundaries with or pulled away from. In general, in your life, even if there's not one specific thing that's coming to mind that you've let go, what you have released is the pattern of feeling responsible for the choices that other people make in their life, particularly those karmic choices, whether it is karmic behavior patterns, mind patterns, karmic connections or relationships. You are really learning how to focus on yourself and lead by example rather than feeling overly responsible for other people's choices and decisions. I'm picking up on a divine feminine who is so profound at empowering other people. You give the best advice to others because that advice is coming from a very intuitive place. And you always inspire others to empower themselves and to love themselves and embrace themselves. But at times, you may actually struggle to take some of your own advice here. I'm almost hearing an exercise come through from your guides where you could sit with yourself in meditation and actually imagine that your own higher self is giving advice to you in the way that you would give advice or guidance to a friend. And this could be a really helpful exercise in deep self reconnection. I just keep hearing you can heal yourself because again, I feel as though someone may have been displacing some of their power or healing into or onto something else when Really, all of that power has always been within you. It's always been in your own hands. And so much of our physical life experience is just reawakening and remembering that true inner power. Wow, lots of very spiritually deep messages coming through the reading, I am getting a message as well to really prioritize your peace above all else at this time, particularly when it comes to your work career or finances, a hidden truth coming through is that your peace is impacting these areas of your material life more than you may consciously realize. Meaning when you cultivate an energy of peace within yourself, You are creating a foundation from which you can manifest much more quickly, particularly when it comes to material things. In this case, I'm getting your energy is your true value. It's your true currency in the world. And as you prioritize that energy and specifically your own inner peace, you are actually amplifying the power of that frequency and that is magnetically pulling back to you more of what you desire in life 
So what else can I share with the beautiful soul tuned into this reading? Yeah, with rest and rejuvenation reversed, someone may have been having trouble sleeping lately or just in general, you may have felt some restless feelings coming through. Now, I have to say, for someone listening, some of these restless feelings may actually be energetically transmitted to you by someone who is connected to you in the quantum field. So this could be a masculine, a divine masculine. This could be even a friend or a family member. Someone in your field has been feeling really anxious or restless and having difficulty sleeping. And it's almost like you've been picking up on that energy. Can I get more details of this? Yeah, someone here is feeling anxious with the solar plexus chakra reversed. What is this person anxious about? I feel like they're anxious about you being disconnected from you, being separated from you in some way, or just in general, feeling really alone in their life. I'm getting a lot of masculine energy from these cards. So there could be a masculine coming through here. This might be someone connected to you romantically, platonically, but this also could be an internal masculine energy that's within you. So what else can I channel here about this situation? Gratitude in the reverse position. So someone is feeling taken for granted here, not this is a bit of a strange message. This person's feeling like they aren't being appreciated, but it's because they feel they aren't being seen. This masculine doesn't feel like the people around them physically on the day-to-day -day are actually really seeing them for who they really are. And this is actually causing them to feel a deep soul loneliness, even if they are physically around other people. They also feel as though they're being judged heavily, either consciously or subconsciously by people around them. They also may struggle with judging themselves. And I keep getting the sense that this person wants to come forward and communicate something, but they're feeling this lack of courage, this low sense of self-esteem, because we do have the courage card in the reverse position and also the friendship card. So this may be someone who approaches you in a light, playful kind of manner that catches you off guard because it seems very randomly like on the surface or just kind of playful and light when you may have a history with this person, again, for some of you, there may not be a history here, but don't be fooled by this person approaching you playfully or kind of just wanting to be friendly. This is because they are really longing to connect with you, but they're lacking the courage to really speak what is deeply on their mind here. And so they might be kind of connecting superficially or on the surface to get their foot in the door of connecting with you longer term. So with that being said, I want to channel more into potentially what this masculine does want to communicate that they're lacking the courage to say or to communicate. But while I'm shuffling, I also have to share a download that came through. I don't normally abruptly pause a particular stream of thought in the readings, but for someone very specific listening, You've been struggling with something in your life and your spirit guides are very aware that you've been struggling with this. Again, this feels like it won't be for everyone. This might be for just a very small group of people, but for someone listening, you've been struggling with something very much alone in your own head. This feels like something you keep spiraling or circling around. You may feel like no one really understands what you're going through from an external perspective. They might either not see what you're going through or they might, they might 
not understand why you're in the place that you are. They may be judging you. I'm picking up some energy of judgment from people around you. And this is really painful for you because you're highly empathic. So you can really pick up when other people are sending you judgmental energy. But I feel your guides trying to deliver a very important message. And it is that, and I mentioned this earlier, but now I'm getting more specifically why it was coming up. The message is that all of the validation you are seeking is within yourself. All of the healing you are seeking emotionally and mentally is within yourself. You hold all the keys and those keys are self-love and self-acceptance and surrender to where you are giving yourself permission to be where you are and to love yourself regardless, no matter what you're going through, no matter what mind prison you found yourself in, no matter how quote unquote stuck you feel that you are, you are so utterly worthy of love and your own love most of all. And as you can apply self-love to this situation, I'm hearing that you will ease up some of the energetic resistance that you've been feeling. You will much more easily be able to lean into surrender and this situation will continue to transform in positive or even magical ways when you consistently apply self-love to it. So again, I have no idea why that message so desperately wanted to come through. It literally interrupted the stream of thought that we were on. Okay, let's take a deep breath, clear the energy, and get back to this masculine that is lacking the courage to approach you, and if they do approach, it's most likely going to be light and playful, kind of in a friendly way. With the sacral chakra reversed and the man holding a coin reversed, I feel that the two of you may have actually connected more consistently in the physical world in the past from a wounded state of being. If you do connect with this divine masculine or you have connected in the past, it seems that there may have been some kind of what we would foresee as a kind of attachment issue here where you may have been lacking in feeling open and receptive. You may have been over self-sacrificing, abandoning yourself to please or to connect with this person. And they were connecting with that energy in a wounded way because they were living unconsciously or unawakened. This won't be for everyone, but for some of you, there was this kind of back and forth wounded patterning and you have chosen to heal yourself with the sacral chakra. I see this energy shifting around. You have done a lot of healing work, particularly if you resonate as the divine feminine and specifically on your sacral chakra, you've been powerfully bringing yourself into balance, but particularly in your emotional world with angel of balance in the upright position. You've also been building a deep sense of confidence within yourself. And all of this has energetically pressured this particular masculine energy to do their own healing work as well. In fact, they will be blocked from being capable of consistently connecting with you in the physical world until they choose to heal themselves because as long as they are attempting to connect with that version of you that was overgiving, over self sacrificing, abandoning themselves, they will have nothing to connect with because that version of you has been far outgrown. So I'm going to channel a bit more into what is specifically going on in the mind and heart of this masculine. And the first card I have here is the ace of swords so 
It feels like this is where the Divine Masculine's spirit guides are leading him right now. This particular Masculine's guides are asking him to move forward and act with clarity and truth. And I'm hearing the term truth radar that you, Divine Feminine, have a very strong truth radar, so to speak, meaning you are very, very capable of sensing and recognizing the energy of truth at this time. And this is protecting and guiding your life because when you interact with someone and you can sense a dissonance with the energy of truth, it allows you to know that you may want to set boundaries with that particular person or not necessarily open yourself fully to them. And in the case of this masculine, you are able to sense when this person is approaching you with an energy of clarity and truth and when they are not. And this is really on a subconscious level, part of their learning process as they are learning that your newfound shift in energy, this new energy you're wearing, requires of them complete truth, clarity, and forward movement, forward action that they take, and that otherwise you will not be responding to any other forms of energy. You won't be responding if you sense out of alignment with the energy of truth, if you sense a dissonance, if you sense that they're not being clear or coming forward with clear intentions. I do feel that this is someone that is also really wanting to move towards this new beginning with you and i'm also getting that they may be conflicted within themselves for some reason what is this inner conflict okay we have the card walking away the inner conflict is that in order to fully move towards this new beginning with you. I saw the number 2222 on the recording timer, by the way. But anyway, this masculine is going to have to leave something behind. They're going to have to close one door to open another door here. And intuitively, because this is sitting on the third eye chakra, this means their intuition is very loudly telling them that this door that they are considering opening is of tremendous value, that this is leading to a lot of really deep fulfillment for them. And yet, I feel as though their conscious, logical mind is afraid of closing one door behind them. They are someone who is very uncomfortable stepping forward without a clear plan that's been created through the logical mind. But the thing is, the plan at play here for them now is actually one that their soul constructed and created. It is essentially a soul contract between the two of you that is being activated. I mentioned this in a recent reading as well. But many powerful soulmate and twin flame soul contracts are being activated at this time. And once a contract like this is activated, you can actually begin to feel it pulling on your energy even before you fully meet or connect or reconnect with that particular person in the physical world. And I do feel a soul contract has been activated here that is pulling you both together into this reunion energy represented by the happy family card that came out here. Someone may also be seeing some of the number 444 and this can be resonant with the reunion energy that you're coming into as well. The second card from the traditional tarot that came up as a clarifier is the knight of wands. This is 
a person of action, but specifically a masculine energy taking very passionate action in the pursuit of some kind of an idea or vision. And in this case, I see that idea or vision that this masculine is wanting to take passionate action towards being you divine feminine. And again, this is how his spirit guides are guiding him. They are trying to teach the masculine here to step up into action and to truly pursue what his heart desires and have the courage to close the doors on people in situations that are no longer aligned with his heart space. Now, many of you who resonate as the divine feminine may actually be feeling this on your internal divine masculine as well you may be finding that in certain areas of your life you're being asked to close a door without really knowing what lies ahead of you you just are intuitively following this guidance to shut a door behind you and to step forward confidently and you may be learning to fully lean in and trust your instincts that you are being divinely guided and protected in all of this. But with the magician and the mirror card coming up with the card all tied up, I'm picking up that the masculine learning to take forward action here to act with clarity and to speak with truth towards the divine feminine is the lesson that must be learned in order to energetically rebalance this connection and in the meantime if things have felt stuck or stagnant or as though they're kind of in a rut or going in a loop with all tied up in the upright position, know that this means that lesson is still being learned, that the masculine here is still learning how to fully speak and express their truth with clarity and how to take those positive action steps forward. And this truly feels like their lesson to be learning at this time. The divine feminines are really being guided not to get externally involved, but to really hold the space for this somewhat of a training that is going on within the divine masculine collective but also divine feminine especially if this is a twin flame connection there is quite a bit of energetic mirroring between the two of you and what this means is that as you focus on healing and balancing your internal divine masculine and divine feminine specifically here through again having the courage to shut those doors that are out of alignment with your heart space to lean and surrender fully into that knowing of where you are going knowing that where you are going is so beautiful and powerful and valuable as you learn to more and more take those positive action steps for yourself that improve your own personal life experience that move you towards your goals and dreams all of this amounts to the healing and rebalancing of your own internal divine masculine and know that the external masculine coming up in this reading is very much reflecting your healing and those shifts that you're making within yourself. That even came out in a recent reading as well when I said in the title of a recent video that this divine masculine is mirroring your choice to heal yourself. So divine feminine, the more you choose to love and honor and embrace yourself and move forward in positive ways, the more this person is going to be mirroring those choices as well. And I feel that you're going to see some powerful evidence of that mirroring effect taking place that's going to be very in your face and obvious. I've already sent, seen some comments from some of you in the comments section who have shared that your divine masculine counterpart reached out and you had a conversation and they confirmed everything that you had intuitively sensed that they were going through. And more and more of you are going to find very 
synchronous events like that happening in your life, whether it's a literal sign through communication from this person in the physical world, whether it's through a dream, through some other spiritual sign that appears in your life. So really keep your eyes open for signs at this time because synchronicity really abounds, especially as we are still somewhat basking in the lingering effects of that super moon energy that we experienced the peak of on Wednesday. So I'm now going to pull a final Rumi Oracle card to close this YouTube reading, but if the reading has been resonating, I do invite you to explore the extended version of the reading on Patreon as well. If you do want to learn more about what we will be discussing in the Patreon reading, you can read through all of that in the pinned comment or description box under this video. I will leave a link in those places to where you can join our beautiful Patreon Soul Tribe and tune in not just for this extended reading, but also you will then get access to all of the Monday, Wednesday, and Friday extended readings. So again, all of that information is below. So what is one final card to close the reading? This card is Al Azza, Star of Venus. So I'm just going to read a little bit from the guidebook here. I am the pure light, my son. I am not a handful of worthless dust. I am not just an empty shell. I am a regal pearl formed in this world. Close your eyes to see and become aware of me. Perceive me with eyes that see the unseen. Come into the mystery to find me. I am a carefree visitor here for you, Rumi. So the guidebook also says, Your guidance is to trust your path. Trust your evolution even in the face of those around you reacting to it, possibly in fear or discomforts. Trust in the paths of others too, for in truth there is one path and we are all on it. You do not have to convince anyone of anything. That is not your job. Your job is to embrace your wisdom, embrace your freedom and empowerment, to grow spiritually and live your life accordingly. You are becoming, through bestowal of grace, something more of a goddess and a god, of a human and a sacred animal integrated as one. This is sacred alchemy, amplified in the starfires of Venus who loves you as a brother or sister and honors your soul with her blessing. Shine true, beloved. Shine bright. So that feels like a beautiful place to close the reading. Again, if you do want to join me now in the extended version of this reading on Patreon, where we will be diving deeper into the details of many things that came up in the reading, the link to that is in the pinned comment and description box under the video. Otherwise, I am sending you all so much love today. Have a magnificent weekend, and I will connect with you here again in Monday's reading.